right, it's your boy Pelican Bay K9s giving you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased, some gonna like it, some ain't. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. Thank you to the ones that hit that like button on the last video. Hit that, don't forget to hit that like before you get up out of here. Get up in them comments like you always do. It's your boy Pelican Bay K9s. Let's get into that dog news for the day. I come to I come to the conclusion that this American pit bull will tell you. Dog game is sick. I don't even know what kind of medicine it needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion like everybody, <laughs> truthfully, don't deserve to, to, to get some of this knowledge that these folk kicking on these dog channels. You know, it's, it's some great dog men out there, but everybody ain't great. You know, everybody ain't even good. Everybody ain't mediocre. You know, there's a lot of folk that don't deserve to hear none of this stuff that, you know, going on these dog channels. You know? You gotta leave the swamps where the swamps is. See, a lot of y'all doggers, man, like I say, the dog game's sick. Cause see, a lot of y'all think the swamps is a place. <laughs> nah, man. The swamps is a way of thinking, your mentality when it comes to this dog game. Uh, you know, that's what the swamps is. The swamps is inside you. If you no, know, you that type of person. You got people on these Facebook boards commenting about yellow and commenting about Mayday and they wasn't even born then or either they couldn't even come off the porch when them dogs was around. Like, people commenting about stuff that they didn't, shouldn't even be talking about, listen and get information about at most, you know, shouldn't, be, shouldn't even be talking about. Especially if you ain't never dealt with them type of dogs. You know, you got folk up here talking about Mayday dogs and never had a Mayday dog in their life. Folks talking about yellow dogs never had a, a yellow dog in their life. Some of them never even seen a yellow dog. But yet, but yet, they get on these Facebook and start talking about stuff. Believe me, my dog men and dog women, if I speak on a dog, I either had it or either I got that joke in the yard. You know, and I got to watch how I'm speaking because I got to watch my curse words and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to go through this without using too much profanity and all that kind of thing. But, you know, if I speak on a dog, I either had it, seen it, or I got it on the yard. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to talk about... Uh, uh, this kind of dog or that kind of dog and then, uh, you know, uh, I ain't never had it on the yard or I ain't never seen it or, you know, one or the other. Some folk will do it though, man. Some folk will do it. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna talk about a, Lam a Lambo this and that and I ain't never had it. I ain't gonna talk about a vet or this and that and if I ain't never had it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, man, a vet ain't shit. Them cars ain't nothing. I ain't never seen one, touch one, let alone sight in one. Oh, man, don't get no vet. That, that, that's too low, they too bumpy, this and that, this and that. But I ain't never seen it, never touched it, but I'm out here speaking on it. That's the dog game for the day, 2022. These folk out here speaking on dogs, they ain't never been around, touched, or, or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the game, that's how you got the game, you know? That's how it is. So, and at the end of the day, it don't matter how cheap the dogs is, it don't matter how expensive the dogs is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause you know, some folk will be like, you know, the dogs, uh, they, they're too cheap now, so uh, any and everybody can get one. But the thing is, it don't matter how cheap it is, it don't matter how expensive it is, you got to get that dog to the right person, you know, because most of the people that can afford that ain't the good dog men. Most of the people that can afford the, the high-quality $5,000 dogs ain't the good dog men. So, I mean, shit. Like, you know, it go both ways. It, it don't matter, you know, how, how how much the dog is. It matter who you get that dog to. That's what matters. You know, everybody can't afford this. Because that man can't afford this. That's why I tell y'all, my doggers, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just like y'all, man. Whether you rich or whether you poor, you know, I'm just like you, man. Just like you. Ain't no different. Ain't no better. You know, uh, just try to make moves in the right way. That's all I try to do, try to make moves in the right way. And one thing I know, no matter how expensive, just because, see, when you make a, a dog expensive, this is what you're doing. You're not getting it to the right dog, man. You're just making sure only certain dog men can get it. That don't mean the right one can get it. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean the right one can get it because it's high. The right one might be working a regular job where he can't kick out that kind of money. But that's the man you need to get your dog. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's why I tell you, these folk, they go by likes, they go by views, they go by subscribers and all that and try to say this is that. Oh, because this man got 10,000, 20,000 subscribers. I can sell him a dog. He'll good. Man, listen here, man. He probably a slouch of the country, man. He probably the slouch of the country. But you think it because he full up with uh, subscribers or something like that. That, 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 that equals to his dog game level. No, 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 no. Subscribers, YouTube, all that social media. That dog game, that's real world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that man who got two subscribers, and you know what I'm saying? He probably the best dog man in the world. You know, we can't go off none of that. But we go off all that stuff when it comes to looking at so-called dog men. You know what I'm saying? You look at a dog man, a kennel or something, and uh, uh they got... Oh, oh man, he got fifty thousand subscribers, but he his none of his dogs ever broke a grape. None of his dogs won't break through a wet paper bag. You know what I'm saying? Or never broke through a wet paper bag. You know? And a lot of y'all dog men, y'all y'all older than me, but y'all ain't wait, shit. Y'all should be telling some stories from the '80s then. That, that's what y'all need to be doing. Some of y'all dog men, that's my age and older. This out here talking this talking this this big time kennel talk. Need to be telling some stories from the early 90s. I want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing about no 2000 era. Early 90s. You're old, ain't it? Ain't you old? Well, when you start bulldogging. He must be just start bulldogging. Last 10 years or something. Because damn, a lot of y'all boys older than me. And I damn sure ain't heard about you. And when it comes to my opinion on them keeks, my brothers, you know, I give you the information out some of these magazines and different information that I get. When it comes to them keeps, this is how I always did it. You know, you know, they always had different keeps on the internet from uh, uh, Finkel Winkle and this one and that one and this one and that one. Don Mayfield, this one and that one. You know what I do? I read them. I read them all, but I do it my way. You know what I'm saying? I see how they doing it and I add it my way. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Things change. Years go on. Food get better. Medicines get better. We get different supplements and all kind of stuff like that. Things change. You know, you don't have to do the same exact things that they was doing. Plus, you might not have. You might have a better caliber dog than the man who you reading from a keep. You reading the keep from a man who you can, who your dog will straight off the chain. So, so imagine that, my brothers. Imagine that. Your dog whip him straight off the chain, but you taking notes from his keep. So that's why I always read them brothers' keeps, and I always put my own sauce to it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, okay, so that's right. He true. That's true right there. He need, that's good. I ain't never thought about that, you know? But then I add my own sauce to it, you know? Add my own sauce to it because it's no telling what level of dogs these brothers had, you know? Might have been curves he was working. He think, he think they're good. But to the to other dog man, you know, you get the story, man, his dog was losing like hell. You know what I'm saying? And then you done went point for point with that keep. Not saying that keep made him lose, but shit, I ain't want to, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't. All I'm saying is look at it, read it, pay attention to that stuff, but have the knowledge to add your own spice to it. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be better off at the end of the day. Now, on another note, you know, I said something about the brother Buck City on a couple videos ago. Now, this is what I'm going to say about that. And I'm going to say this again. I raised that video, the last video, not the last one, but the one before that, on the strength of Brother Roster Man. Not the strength of the other dude. On the strength of Brother Roster Man, I deleted that video. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to put it to you like this real. A lot of y'all do a lot of talking behind a brother back. I just say what y'all scared to say. You know what I'm saying? I get up here and say it because I ain't going to be the one talking about how to behind the back, this and that, this and that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be the one doing that. You know? I'm going to get up here and say it myself and put my, my face behind it like I always take. You know? It is what it is. One thing about it and one thing about a dog game, any game. If you get hot, why you coming around making everybody else hot? You hot. You need to handle your business. Stay where you at. You know what I'm saying? If you got real love for the dog fraternity, you know, it is what it is. You know, you wanna y'all y'all like the y'all like the the um why well, I said it the other night. Y'all like a funny lie but but scared of the bloody truth. You know what I'm saying? 
That's what you, you, you want a funny lie, but you scared of the bloody truth. When you know you hot like that, you don't come around folk. You think, you think, uh, them F, you, you, you outsmarting them FBI people? Putting up a fake name or something like that, getting on a, on a message board from a fake name, you think you outsmarting them? Man, they following you. They know what time it is. Follow you like a, like a, uh, you know, they don't make no difference if you tell it or not. Follow him. He going to the, he go, this for example, guys, this is, this is an example. This is not what this person caught up with or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Say, uh, you caught up in the dope spot. Uh, you ain't telling on nobody. You ain't telling nobody. I mean, you caught up with a dope charge. You ain't telling nobody. None of that. None of that. But now they following you, watching you where you go at. Following, watching all your phone calls. Seeing who damn doing this, see who doing that, just by following you. You know what I'm saying? And you thinking you outsmarting this person, that person. You don't think they know IPs and this and that? Man, listen here, man. Listen here. When you're hot, you don't come around folk and make them hot. You know what I'm saying? If you really care about them. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And that's the way all the games is. You get knocked in the streets, why you going to keep coming around them boys who out there making money? You know what I'm saying? You staying by to yourself or to some other thing because you hot. That's all it is to it. If you can't understand that, you know, like I said, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I ain't going to get up here and talk about shit behind people back. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't scared to say it in your face or anybody's face. You know, it is what it is. PBK9s. I put it down for mine. You know, I can't help what the next man do. I don't, I don't, de- I don't dick ride no, no big time black kennels. I don't dick ride no big time white kennels because at the end of the day, you want to compete, I go to anybody ass. Black, white, Mexican, it don't make no difference. And I don't care about how big your kennel is. Like I tell you, if you want to compete in whatever competition you want to figure out on the legal tip, holler at your boy. It don't make no difference. You know, I train my dog to do it. If you want to work weight, if you want to uh, wall, you want to swim in, dock diving, whatever you want to do. You know, it don't make no difference who your kennel is. As long as they ain't under no, about no fuckery. You know what I'm saying? That's how we rolling, you know? So, at the end of the day, I'm a real bulldog. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't getting all starstruck because you a big kennel or because you got a big name or something like that. We both same, come from the same mud. We both get it out of dirt the same way. And we, you know, so we going to see what it is, what it is, what it is. You know, at the end of the day, that's all I care about, seeing what it is. Other than that, I don't care about no big name. I don't care about no bullshit you talk about or none of that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. That's what it's about. Make it happen. If you ain't making it happen, like I said before, what you bringing positive to the dog game? What you bringing positive? I don't want to see a dog running on a treadmill, locking on a dang on a on a on a rag. What you bringing positive to the dog game? Giving these brothers and sisters out here. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If I wasn't attached to JD Hall, if I wasn't attached to Yellow John and Metal Yellow, I would get get all my get rid of all my pits, man. That pit game, y'all. This shit ain't fun with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even talking about me because I'm going to make money on YouTube regardless to talk about whatever I got to talk about. That ain't, this ain't the dog game. This YouTube stuff ain't the dog game. This is social media. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that. It's like, a lot of y'all, instead of focusing on your own yard, you worry about stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. All right. Give you a quick example. Just, just the last video, I gave, I gave the El Chapo dog props. Okay, I checked Facebook out. Now, I could be wrong, you know. But the way I read it, you say Mayday, okay, Mayday Buckskin, and then you say basically people showing these red, red noses off of Mayday, Mayday a Buckskin dog. All right, my thing was for one. Why you worrying about that when you got puppies to sell right now? And if you ain't selling nothing, you know, why you worry about that if you ain't pushing that? Or if you ain't trying to buy that? Two, maybe they wasn't buckskin. Maybe they was brown or what they would consider red with a black mask. You know, it just depends on what paper you getting. Or what, 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 if you were at the show, he would be considered red with a black mask. Okay. Now, maybe they, uh, daddy was buckskin, grand champion yellow. Grand Champion Yellow Daddy was red. Mayday Mama was red. So you need to you need to get you do a little research before you make posts about things because it shows your level in a dog game. And when you're dealing with folk who ain't playing no games, folk who don't take everything for a joke when it comes to these dogs, 
then you make yourself look a certain kind of way. I don't do this shit, man, for likes. You think I posted your dog to get likes? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I did that off the strength of me. You know, I got a whole bunch of brothers with pit bulls, red boy Jocko dogs on this side. I could do it with, with hell of five pedigrees. I could do it for likes. You know, if, if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? But now nah, I did it off the strength. But at the end of the day, you know, it turned around. I look at I look at stuff. I'm like, man, these folks out here crazy, man. This dog game crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Crazy as y'all is, make me want to just get me a mixed breed dog and go fishing the rest of my damn life. And, and hunting and, and just enjoy life and get me a mixed breed dog and say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all, we all on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know, I see now, it don't matter what you got or what you're working with. It's just y'all like to have some kind of shit stirred up. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all think Chico don't care about what y'all say about him? He talked to people the way he talked to people. Because, man, it, this shit is whack. This shit is whack. You can get mad at me. You can get mad at him. You can get mad at next man. You know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, while y'all in the swamps, you reading that book, you see what that man doing with his dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all that hating, 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 hating. All that hating done pushed that man to the top. That man don't even got to be involved with y'all, with y whatever y'all doing. Yeah, and as soon as you, oh, he live out of country, he live this place. That man probably live somewhere in Georgia, somewhere in New York, somewhere in Oklahoma, any, anywhere. Somewhere, the country so big, ain't no telling where he live at. He just ain't hanging with the swamps because the swamps ain't about S these days. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about nothing. It ain't about nothing. Like some of my bulldogs, man, some of y'all high quality Victor dog food. Some of my bulldogs high quality Victor dog food, but then you got them boys on Facebook, they low quality dog chow. <laughs> low quality dog chow. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. PBK9s. I'm going to give you that dog news like I always do. You know what I'm saying? Fair and unbiased. Now, let me tell you about, let me tell you how the dog game is, man. What, what makes me fed up with it and know it's sick, sick, sick. I tell somebody, yo, I'm going to give you a puppy off my, off my uh, you know, off my uh, litter coming. My big John litter that I had. Of yellow John and mellow yellow litter. All right. I said, I'm going to give you a puppy. All right. This before they was even born, you know. Next thing you know, we take a, um, the kennel take a hit. Kennel take a hit. All right. Kennel take a hit. All the dogs gone. Except for the ones that's about to be born. All the dogs gone except for the ones about to be born. I have seven puppies. Two of them die. I end up with five. I split the litter with the breeder. With, I'm the breeder and the other breeder. You know, don't got to say no names. I split the litter with me and the other breeder. Okay? Now, folk mad at me because I had to switch up the arrangements because it's not the same thing it was when I told you you can get one. When I told you you can get one, it, we was plentiful with the dogs like that. After we take a hit and I took two losses on dogs that died, I'm only left with... Three puppies. And you mad because I can't give you one. And then you acting like I really did something to you. Like this dog ain't fake, man. The dog ain't fake. Everybody want them. Nobody don't want to, you know, uh, play the game right. You know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Like I said, end of the day, keep that same energy you got when you feel like you want to get back in the dog game. Because PBK9 is going to do him. You know what I'm saying? PBK9 is going to do him. And at the end of the day, like I said, man, everybody got to hold their own. Everybody got to hold their own. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, City Boy Kennels out there. Shout out to my boy Marcel Shepard up, up north. You know what I'm saying? All the Bulldogs up north. You know, shout out to my folk in North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi. Uh, shout out to my folk, like I said, in Germany. Shout out to my folk in uh, New Zealand, uh, United Kingdom, and South Africa. Because they keep saying... South Africa, they don't even saying the Africa, top part of Africa, another country in Africa. They talking about South Africa, you know what I'm saying? That's the country that represents PBK9, South Africa. So shout out to South Africa out there, man. Uh, uh, who else, man? Shout out to all my folk in the, the Miami at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my folk in Jacksonville. You know, shout out to Magnolia. Shout out to my other folk out there in Jackson. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Shout out to my folk in the N.O., you know what I'm saying? Um, um. Uh, my boy Vonnie down there in the N.O. I see you out there dancing at the second line, my homie. 
I see you out there, man, doing your thing, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. PBK9. PBK9 is holding it down, and I'm going to give you that dog news the way I always do. You know what I'm saying? One thing I know, I ain't the only person with a red midi, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to act like it, but I damn sure one of the people with a red midi, dog, red nose, red midi, dog, that they be advertising. So when you speak something like that, you know, uh, it sounds like to me you're talking about the people who are advertising it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you should be worried about your puppies right about now. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you don't want me to start uh, investigating them and do a whole two or three shows on them and they might sl slack your puppy sales up. You know, you better go ahead and get them motherfuckers off before you start talking, you know what I'm saying, stepping in waters you don't know nothing about. Because one thing about it, <laughs> BBK9 ain't trying to sell no puppies. Uh, I got a, I dropped a couple of videos, boy, and slow up them puppy sales, so you better go ahead and do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. Man, shout out to my folks, Liquid Lucky, Provocative B, Street Rossi, uh, Devin Ross. Um, man, shout out to everybody to be checking the channels out, man. Everybody to be checking the channels out. You know, I don't got it written down, and, I, you know, I, I forgot a whole bunch of y'all, so don't hate me, don't beat me up, you know what I'm saying, because I ain't shoot you the shout out, but I... I'm, I'm saying shout out to all y'all, man. Shout out to all y'all. You dealing with this modern day dog game, man. Sometimes I get confused because I'm from the area, like I said before, we got searched before we went to that square. You from that area where they pull out cell phones and get around the square. You know what I'm saying? I done seen it, man. There's a whole different area, group of folk, man. Whole different group. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the area where I had 30 and 40 people I was hanging around, you know, in the streets. But them 30 and 40 people, didn't get involved with the two or three people that was dealing with the Bulldogs. Whenever, whenever it was time to go Bulldog, only them two or three people went. Because they was, you know, they was the Bulldogs. It wasn't the 30 and 40 other people that went, you know. Small crowds. Now y'all 100 crowds, 200 people around a square. 30 of them got cell phones out. Talking on cell phones, these things recorded, they talking on it. You know what I'm saying? And trying to hold it. I done seen folk, man, try to hold a phone kind of with an angle. Tilt it a little bit. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Get the, get the, get the uh, square on the phone. I say, man, listen, man. Different, different ball game, man. Different ball game. Keep that shit in your memory, man. That's the only way you're supposed to see it. Damn a damn phone. Keep that shit in your memory. If, you, if your memory ain't, that, if, if ain't good enough to let you vividly see what happened in a replay, then you, you need to stop smoking or stop doing whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you like a funny lie, but you don't like the bloody truth. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that, them dog fighting charges and all that stuff like that. Listen here. Anyway, two things you can do. Plead guilty or take it to trial. Two things you can do. Plead guilty or take it to trial. You plead guilty, you get what they give you. You take it to trial. The thing is, when it comes to dog fighting, and we all know this, if the state feel like they don't got enough evidence to convict you, they'll pass that over to the feds. That's a federal charge. It's just if the state got you, they got enough evidence where they feel like they can prosecute you, they're going to do it. But if they feel like they're going to lose, they're going to just slide that over to them big boys, to them alphabet boys with a conviction rate of 90-something, 90 90-something percent conviction rate. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Y'all want the uh, uh, the funny lies, but don't want the bloody truth. You know, like I say, man, keep that heat elsewhere. You know, if, if a brother care about any any brother in the dog game, and you got that much heat on you, it ain't nothing funny about trying to make a fake page and, and pop up here, pop up there, this and that. Man, handle your business, man. Handle your business. What you do, then you have fun later. You know what I'm saying? Then you have fun later. Yo, but it is what it is, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all here too long. It's your boy, PBK9. Like I say, give you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some will like it. Some ain't. You know, it ain't my problem. Worry about that. I just give it to you the way I give it to you. We gonna end 2022 with a bang. And we gonna start 2023 up with a whole bunch of new content. A whole bunch of stuff. Man, we gonna get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my bulldogs out there. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay legal. Keep doing y'all thing. Have fun with them dogs. And don't worry about haters at the end of the day. Because all of, like they say, you ain't nobody if you ain't got no haters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't nobody if you ain't got no haters. So it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, y'all have a good night.